Hey guys, and Steven here again, and welcome to another uh, Lego re review, pretty much. Uh, review speed build of the Lego Speed Champions. This is a new set uh, that came out about a month or so, about two months ago, uh, and actually has uh, licensed cars, has Ferraris, has Porsches, uh, it has a McLaren uh, P1 in there, and they sell some sell separately. Others are actually part of sets, uh, but these guys are really cool. Uh, I really wanted the Ferrari one when it first came out. Really couldn't find it anywhere near me, uh, but I finally got one um, when I went to the Lego store about uh, like two weeks ago, and. What we're going to do is I'm going to uh, stop motion build this for you. And then after that, we're going to review the kit. So but quick look at the box. Uh, we have, you know, Speed Champions on top. Nice shot of the, of the La Ferrari on the box. Warning stuff. Stuff in Spanish and French. Actual size of Lego figure. And... Nothing on this side. So uh, that's pretty much it for <laughs> showing off the box. Nothing too special. Uh, but let's get right down to uh, build this thing and uh, review it afterwards. Enjoy. Here he is. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, stop motion build. Uh, it's pretty fun to you know to do. Uh, Legos are so much easier to do stop motion than Gundams because there's not many moving parts. Anyways, uh, this is the actual kit itself, and it it's really nice looking. It's really fun to build. Uh, it's very cool looking. Um, my, actually, my wife mentioned that these should be a little bit, probably should be a little bit wider. They look kind of weird, uh, like so skinny. Uh, I think it looks looks nice, but also I do see her point because these, you know, these the supercars themselves are usually quite wide. Um, but if they made it wider, more bricks would be used, and then it would cost more. Instead of ten dollars, it would probably be fifteen. Or twenty dollars. So, uh, but otherwise, uh, otherwise for ten dollars, this thing is amazing. It's very cool. Uh, very nice representation of it. The stickers are really nice, nicely done. Uh, you got some Ferrari symbols right here. Nice wheels. They actually give you two sets of hubcaps that you can that you can use. Um, these and ones with a lot of spokes on them. Um, but the, the windshield's really nice. They actually have a speedometer, as you probably saw in the, the build, right there. And then here, it's right there as well. Uh, this, this one is definitely cool. It rolls really well. Uh, and they actually, I believe they are rubber tires. Yeah, this thing is definitely worth your money. Definitely worth the ten dollars. I would say that, uh, pick it up uh, when you can. And yeah, I this, I cannot recommend this guy enough. Um, so that's actually <laughs> pretty much it for the review. Um, I like, like I said, I like the sticker work. I like the actual look of the car. They actually made it look mostly like the La Ferrari. Um, 
I actually will put a picture to compare the two. So here's the LaFerrari Lego, and then here is the LaFerrari in real life. So I think they did a really nice job uh, blending the two styles together. Looks really cool. Definitely pick it up. Um, so until next time, guys, um, don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe, share, uh, tell your friends and everything. Um, so uh, until next time, guys, keep building and keep playing.